Hi there, welcome to Storytime with Brett Create. My name's Callie, and today we are going to read Penguin Pete Ahoy. Penguin Pete woke up one bright sunny morning and said to himself, this feels like a good day to go exploring. He plunged straight into the sea and swam quickly past all the friendly fish. Sorry, no time to play today, he said. I've got important things to do. Before long, Pete found something really interesting to explore. Around the bend in the next bay was an old ship with jagged holes in its rotten timbers and tattered sails flapping in the wind. There seemed to be no one on the ship, so Pete clambered on board. What a mess, gasped Pete, looking at all the crates, barrels, ropes, and broken planks scattered across the deck. A sudden rustling noise startled him. It seemed to come from under an old sack. Pete wallowed quietly over to the sack and pulled it into the air. Cowering underneath was a little gray mouse. Hello, said Pete. I'm sorry if I frightened you, but I was a bit scared myself. I didn't think there was anyone on this ship. There's only me, said the little creature, and I was, wasn't really frightened. The mouse stood up straight and saluted smartly. I'm Horasho, the ship's mouse, he announced. Welcome aboard. Nice to meet you, Horasho. I'm Penguin Pete. Let's be friends. All right, said Horasho. Come on, I'll show you my ship. Pete liked the storeroom best of all. Some of the boxes and packages were broken open, and Pete had never seen so many good things to eat. Does all of this really belong to you, asked Pete, licking his beak. It certainly does, says Horasho, with pride. Help yourself. Let's go back on deck, said Pete, when he was too full to eat anymore. They were eating all the snacks on the ship. I probably would, too. Pete rushed upstairs and found a fishing net to play with. He swished it through the air, used it to give his friend a ride, even dressed up in it, until suddenly he was tangled in the mesh. The more he struggled to get free, the more entangled he became. Don't worry, Horasho said. The ship's mouse can handle nets. I'll get you out of there. Them playing in the net. Next, Horasho suggested a game of hide and seek. Pete tried his best, but he wasn't very good at hiding, and the mouse, who knew every nook and cranny on the ship, quickly found him every time. Let's climb to the top of the mast, said the mouse. You can see the whole world from up there. He scampered nibbly up to the rope ladder. Pete struggled to follow him. The view from here is wonderful, isn't it, said Horasho? Yes, said Pete, but I don't like being so high up. I'm feeling dizzy. You're just seasick, said Horasho, Horasho wisely. I think I feel better in the sea, said Pete. Why don't we go for a swim? Swim, said the little mouse nervously. I have a better idea. I'll ride in the lifeboat. It still looks seaworthy. You can push me. Pete carefully lowered the boat into the water and began to push, but Horasho squeaked. Help! My feet are getting wet. Water is running through a hole at the bottom of the boat. Abandoned ship, called Pete. But I can't swim, said the little mouse. I'll save you, shouted Pete as he raced to pull Horasho out before the boat sank. Now that's a good friend. Climb on my back, said Pete. You'll be all right. He carried his little friend back to the ship and wrapped him in a blanket. The mouse was still trembling with fright. I think I'll stay on the ship from now on, he said, but I hope you'll come to visit me again. Of course I will, said Pete as he jumped into the sea. Horasho scurried to the ship's rail to wave goodbye. Ahoy there, Pete, he called. So long, shipmate, cried Pete as he paddled away. The next time I come to visit you, I'll teach you how to swim. And that is the story of Penguin Pete and his friend Horasho. Thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.